the defense where we got some JUCO guys coming in and you know the big thing is going to be staying healthy this year and we realized last year we wasn't good at all we were like the last ranked in the Big 12 and nationally but you know it's a new year and we have a lot of experience coming back and with the new guys coming staying healthy I feel like we could be up there in the top. Well I look at it as a part of life actually because you know you never know what's going to happen you have to take it and run with it you know luckily for us Coach Kaufman is doing a good job with us and he's making everything real simple and easy for us to get lined up and just play but I feel like Going through all that is actually going to benefit me now and later down in life. Just adversity. To start last year, I played at 205. Right now, I'm up to like 222, 223. I'm aiming to be at 225. I would say that this off season, I really worked on keeping my speed and a lot more strength being inside the box, but also becoming a leader for our defense. So um, just working out extra hard with Coach Walker and. You know, putting my weight, I know that's what comes with being a linebacker, but I still have to run and get to the ball. I would say my advantage compared to the rest of the linebackers, I still have the speed of a defensive back. One thing I'm going to tell our defense and team this year is we're going to have a 24-hour rule. So, you know, last year we maybe won the Oklahoma game and we got maybe relaxed and chilled, but this year, no matter if we beat Texas State or West Virginia, Oklahoma, 24 hours, we celebrate it. That night, the next day, it's on to the next team. 24 hours later, we're on to the next team. We're not going to just, if we beat the number one team in the nation, we're not going to just cheer about that. The season's not over. It's a long season ahead, and you see what can happen if we don't really get on to the next team. So, there's a lesson learned.